I have been staying in this tiny apartment in Japan for the past couple of days and I have to say, I absolutely love it. It is amazing to see how they are able to utilize this tiny little space. I have been living in Hong Kong for the past 22 years, which is a place notorious for its small apartments. So I am more impressed by how the Japanese can create something out of this tiny little space. The apartment is roughly 200 square feet or 18 square meters. It does have a very tall ceiling, which makes it look bigger. That's what she said. And allows for a vertical expansion of space and obviously more headroom for me. The apartment is located in the city of Chiba, a 40 minute train ride from Tokyo. We came across this apartment on Airbnb and it is still currently listed for about 30 US dollars per night, maximum accommodating for two people, for me and my cameraman, which makes it an absolute bargain. When you walk into the door, there is a genkan, which most Japanese houses have. It is just an alcove where you remove your shoe before you step inside the house. Then you are greeted by this narrow corridor, which on the left houses the kitchen and on the right houses the toilet and the shower. Once you reach the end of the corridor, you open the door and you are greeted into this big space. I love the fact that it feels like you are walking into a cave and it opens up towards the light that is in this living room. I'm not an architect myself, so I'll just quote what architect Douglas Wan said. It is a movement from a compressive space into an expansion of space via a threshold. And the threshold is the door. I think the door is a fantastic touch because when you open the door, you would see the low ceiling, the narrow hallway, and the clutter that is inside the corridor. But once you close the door, all you're left with is this open space, high ceiling, and massive window. Unfortunately, it is raining today, but the natural light is still pretty amazing. The living room overall is pretty functional. It has everything that you might possibly need. I'm not staying here long term, but I would love to have a proper desk and chair for work or to edit. But I can definitely work with what the owner has put here for now. I love the fact that everything you see here is functional, everything is where it needs to be, and there are lots of space for you to organize your stuff. I think the whole apartment separates its space using a shift in plane. So you have an alcove where you enter the door, and then you have an elevated corridor to come into the living room. And then finally, you have the bed, which is on the loft, above the kitchen, and the toilet. The bedroom, the loft is probably my least favorite thing in the entire apartment. Just because getting up there is definitely a hassle for me. I'm six foot and every time I climb up the stairs, it feels like I'm gonna break my back. On a positive note, if I were to live here long term, I would really have to consider hard if I were to take a nap or just go and buy coffee instead. My ass. The futons are definitely comfortable to sleep in. It's just a hassle to get there in the first place. But when you're living in such a small apartment, you need all the space you can get. I think overall having such a small living space makes you think about what do you actually need in your life. I think I would be completely satisfied if I were to live here in the long term, or if I were to live here alone, with definitely a few minor tweaks, but I'm not complaining. It is a fantastic experience to be able to live here for the past couple of days. I would rate this apartment a solid 8.5 out of 10. And ultimately, I think it is a fantastic little living space. Welcome back to yet another tiny apartment. This one needs no introduction. It is the best tiny apartment in the world, aka my room. Now today is the 11th of July and exactly one month ago I received two very lovely emails from yours truly and my boss YouTube. <sighs> this can't go well. No, they are very very lovely emails. I can read one to you right now. 
Haikyo, a copyright owner using Content ID, has claimed some material in your video. Your video is live and the visibility setting that you This video is a day in my life at a Japanese university. And that was posted one year ago. One year ago. One year no, but that's fine. That's fine. That's just one. Video. Four days later, another email. Guess what this email is about? Wow, I think you got it right. It's about another claim. Wow, how surprising. <laughs> Hi, Kyo, a copyright owner using content. I the video that got copyright claimed was my university desk setup 2020. 2020. 2020. 20 that was three years ago and it got copyright claimed last month. Look, I'm not pissed by the fact that they're taking my ad revenue. That's fine. What I am pissed about is the fact that they're doing it three years after the video has been uploaded. Like if you want to take my ad revenue, just take it from the get-go. Then I would have zero expectations so I can move on or I can change the song so I don't have to deal with it. YouTube. Now I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Epidemic Sound, for keeping my videos copyright free whenever I want to use decent music in my videos. I think music is a very important part of any video. You can sit through a bad video, but you can never sit through a video that has bad audio. Now for this video in particular, I have to look for a more chill, lo-fi-esque vibe, which I'm not really familiar with. I'm more familiar with editing with upbeat, powerful music, which doesn't really fit the vibe. You know what, I would love to edit with New Jeans songs. Oh wait, that's actually not too shabby. Epidemic Sound now has a new sound match feature for creators if you're struggling to look for the right music. You can upload a video segment that you want and it will automatically suggest you music that thinks fits the vibe. That's how I got my music for this video. With more than 40,000 soundtracks and 90,000 sound effects for you to use, copyright, Free, it is the perfect music library for any aspiring creators out there. Anyone can sign up using the link in the description. Not only can you get one month free, you can get an extra two month for 50% off if you use KEO50 at checkout. And to make up for my lack of upload in July, there will be another video coming in August. Until then, thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye.